Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to be showing you how you can create amazing and creative website designs in absolutely minutes with tools such as Midjourney, ChatGPT and Editor X. So let's jump right into it. Now before we get into the video, we wanted to bring to your attention that a large number of our viewers are not actually subscribed. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more, please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. Now the first step on our path to creating our website is the Midjourney Discord server. And as you can see here, Midjourney is a text to image AI where your imagination is the only limit. Now in order to get into the Midjourney Discord server, all you have to do is go to midjourney.com, scroll down here and click join our Discord, which will invite you to this Discord server right here. Now once you're in the server, all you need to do is scroll down here into the newcomer rooms and go into any of these rooms. And the way you generate designs is by typing in slash imagine and then putting in your prompt. So suppose you want a design of a cat eating spaghetti and you press enter and you wait for a bit and it will give you various designs of a cat eating spaghetti. And while you wait, you can see various other images that people are generating using Midjourney. And there we go, here are some images of a cat eating spaghetti as generated by Midjourney. And what you can do with these images here is either you can upscale each of them with these options or you can choose one of them which you want variations of. So now you know how you can generate images using Midjourney. But what we want is to generate website designs. So we go into here and type in slash imagine. And let's say we want a beautiful website. Now let's say we want a website for a skate shop where we sell skateboards. So let's say for skateboards and on top of that we can add some prompts let's say dash dash v4 which is a prompt we use in order to use the fourth version of midjourney and another one is dash dash stylize which basically increases the creativity that is put into the generation so now let's press enter and wait for the result as you can see right here it is generating bit by bit and you can see a percentage value of how much has been done and there we go, here is our final result, which are some images of some skateboards. But as you can see, it's not really in a website format. So let's copy our prompt here and type in slash imagine again, paste in our prompt. Let's add some more details over here, such as UI, UX, UI, UX, and website. And let's click enter and let's wait for that to generate. Okay, and here we go. Here is our generation. As you can see, now these results look more like skateboards. But I want to make these look even better. So I'm going to take this prompt again and add in some more descriptors. Let's do slash imagine and paste in our prompt. And let's say we want the colors of black, red. And now let's generate. And there we go, here it is, our result generated. And there we go, now we have our black and red theme and various other elements here. I like this design over here on the bottom right. So I'm gonna go out here and click V4, which will give me various variations on that fourth design over there. So let's see what it comes up with. And here we go, here are the various variations on that fourth design. So out of these four variations here, I think I'll choose this fourth design right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on U4, which will give me an upscale version of the fourth design here. And there we go. Here is our upscale version of that fourth design. And so we're going to save the design here. So click save image. Save. And there we go. And what we're going to do now is move over to ChatGPT. Now this is ChatGPT, which is an artificial intelligence chatbot, which basically generates answers to your questions using AI. So we're going to ask it here for some content for our website. And there we go, here it is generating an outline for our website. It generated a title, ride the streets with our high quality skateboards, a tagline, experience the thrill of skateboarding with our premium gear and so on. So this is some pretty good content for our skateboarding website. So now we have our website design and we have our website content. Now next what we're gonna do is open up our design in Photoshop to make some changes. And here we are, here is our skateboard design on Photoshop. And what we're gonna do is crop out whatever we don't need. So we take the crop tool over here. Okay. 
Okay, now here's our design. So what we want to do with this is remove all the text from here. So what we're going to do is go over here to the spot healing brush tool and remove the text from our design here. And there we go, here is our design absolutely textless. So now that we have both our website design which is textless and our website content, we're gonna go over to a website called Editor X. So here we are on EditorX.com which is a no-code solution to website building. So we're gonna go over and click start now and log in. Okay now once we've logged in, we're presented with various templates but we're gonna go with a blank canvas. So let's click edit over here. And here we go, here is our editor x blank canvas. So what we're gonna do here is choose our blank section and add an element over here and choose image. There we go and we're gonna click change image over here. And we're gonna upload media. So upload from computer. There we go, now our skateboard design is uploading and now it's uploaded and we click update. Okay, now there we go, we've added it to our canvas here and now let's make it so that the canvas matches our design. So we choose this part of the section here. Okay, we go over here to the design tab on the right hand side and we see fill color and opacity and make it match our design and click apply. And now what we can do is do the same up here and there we go, now the rest of the web page matches our design so next we want to add in our website content. So we're going to go in and click add element and click title. And we're going to copy paste the title that ChatGPT gave us. So ride the streets with our high quality skateboards, copy and paste. We're going to change the color to a similar red. And we're going to change up the font here to something else. There we go, we have our font and now we can add in our tagline which is experience the thrill of skateboarding with our premium gear. So we're gonna copy that and add in another text box. There we go and now let's also add a call to action button. And let's actually change the size, change the size of it and change the color of it to our red and we have a call to action text over here shop now and start shredding so let's copy that and paste it here we have our title our tagline and our call to action button now these are just the basics of creating a website but we've shown you how you can start off with mid journey and create a website design and then move over to chat GPT and create the outline content for your website and how you can take both those elements into editor X and create a website right here. Similarly, you can keep on adding different pages and create designs for different pages and also create content for those pages. So thank you all for watching. We hope you learned something here today. If you like the video and you want to see more, please consider subscribing as it helps us out a lot. If you have any ideas for any no code tools that you would like us to cover in the future, please leave a comment down below. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.